All right. Revival went A-OK. -okay. I know you've just woken up, and you're probably wondering what the hell's going on, but we're short on time. I'll give you the gist of things while we wait for the wormhole digger to finish starting up. Okay. So, basically, I'm going to be sending you to another dimension. Yeah, I'm sure you have plenty of questions, but I haven't got time to answer them. Just listen to me. Take a look at this photo. 1968. South Vietnam. It was taken in the town in the north by a journalist accompanying American forces. He took it right before he was killed. Killed by the thing in this photo. And that thing used to be human. Don't believe me. In the section, we have a name for humans that have turned into these monsters. We call them Wanderers. They get infected by this life form we've yet to fully understand. And they end up like that. Wanderers are extremely ferocious. They attack anyone they see indiscriminately. But the worst part is, even when you destroy a Wanderer, the life form that infected the person doesn't die. If we don't do something about them, before we know it, there will be enough of them to destroy the human race. Fortunately for us, back then they appeared in a part of Vietnam where American forces were fighting. That meant we were able to send in a team, in amongst our boys, to wipe them out fast. We got every last one of them. We made the operation look like one of the massacres that occurred throughout the country. Of course, there's a reason this section was able to detect their presence. We've known about this life form for decades now, and about the world it comes from. While it looks a lot like ours, it's populated by wanderers. It's like a vision of hell. We at Wardenclyffe section first observed a wormhole to this other world about 30 years ago. We've studied them ever since. The reason being, we can extract energy from wanderers. We call it Kuban energy. We're talking about a massive energy source. One that could very well shift the balance of power in the world. As you know, six months ago, an enormous wormhole appeared over Mother Base when ExoWeb attacked you. That event enabled us to obtain the coordinates of their world. So for the first time since our research began, we sent out a manned expedition team, the Charon Corps. But we lost all contact with the Corps a while back. Our assumption is they're all dead. You'll have two mission objectives. First, recover the research data the Charon Corps left behind and gather Kuban energy. Second, rescue any core survivors you come across. I'm aware that ideally we'd be sending a team that's fully equipped for this kind of mission, but there's no time for that. Not with the hound of hell after us. Plus, with the energy we have at the moment, the wormhole will only be able to transport one person. You'd rather sit this one out? Sorry, but you don't get a choice. The reason being, you're already infected with that life form I was telling you about. And if you don't want to turn into one of those things, you better do what I tell you. The Kiron Corps' research data should include information on a way to prevent a person from turning into a wanderer. Looks like the digger's ready. When you arrive on the other side, start by heading for the base camp that the Corps used. I'll be issuing all instructions by radio. Guess I'll see you in hell. Good luck, Captain.
Looks like you lost them. That space camp you can see from there. Make your way to his location. Forms detected. Waking from emergency sleep mode. Rebooting. Operational support program, Virgil AT9, reboot complete. It has been 34 days, 9 hours, 12 minutes, and 2 seconds. Commencing debrief. Take a closer look. They aren't with the Karen Corps. I detect a device on you. Connect it to me. Line of communications with section authenticated. Personal data acquired. Welcome aboard Karen's boat, Captain. Why don't I begin by introducing myself? I am Standalone Operational Support Program, Virgil 89. It's nice to meet you. Monsters, now talking machine. No need to be surprised. She was originally the Caron Corps support AI. They were scheduled to rendezvous there. Internal database voice print match. It's been a long time, good luck. It sure has, Virgil. Sorry to spring this on you so soon, but I'd like to give you a new mission. You can find the details in the captain's survival. Well, this was unexpected. The wormhole's closing as I speak. Probably have to plan the thanks for this. Virgil? Take over at the captain's mission support. I'm counting on you. Good luck's gotta go dark. Hope we'll be all right. Do not worry. I will assume the role of the captain's mission support. We've downloaded mission information from the device you connected. Our support systems are already up and running. According to this information, the Karen Corps has already ceased its activities. The captain's mission is to recover the core's data and gather Kuban energy. The mission also includes exploring Dite and rescuing any survivors. Is this correct? So, the two of you are talking to each other. What's the deal with that? There's some reason there are two of you? That reason is unknown. Originally, when I was participating in the Karen Corps' operations, he didn't exist. What I deduce from this is he is a personality created out of necessity amid the unforeseen situation that forced me to enter emergency sleep mode. And what might that unforeseen situation be? Unknown. When it occurred, all data I acquired while supporting the core was lost. And what exactly do you know? Were AIs designed to offer special operations support? I imagine we'll be able to provide you and the captain with valuable information for your mission. Alright, so why don't you start being useful? I don't know the first thing about this place, or the monsters here. 
Tell us everything you know. This world is located on the other end of a wormhole, or a distortion in space-time. For convenience, we call this world Dite. We've learned in the course of our investigation that Dite's environment is very similar to that of Earth. However, it is decisively different from Earth in factors such as the presence of wanderers and the dust. Dust? The dust is a mist-like substance, made up of micro-sized particles of unknown composition. It covers the greater part of Dite. It is extremely toxic to humans, and without some form of countermeasure, a person cannot operate within it unimpeded. How do we get back to our world? There is a way, though this is not currently possible. Why not? To return home, we need to activate a device called the Digger, which is capable of generating large wormholes. However, we lack the data to do this. The Karen Corps intended to use the Digger to return home. So it's highly likely that the data you will recover will describe how to activate it. Looks like my only way out of here is to help you with this mission. Let's split up to look. Just need to find this core's data. If I may be so forward, the captain should probably be the one doing the searching. Mr. Reeve, sir, I detect in you localized hyperthermia, most likely caused by severe inflammation. I do not recommend staying on your feet for too long. You can read me like a book, huh? Well, I think we have a plan. Let's get started right away. It's going to be a long road, but remember, Captain, a journey of a thousand miles wasn't built in a day. I think the expression is either a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, or Rome wasn't built in a day, isn't it? Is that so? Sorry, Captain. Looks like the accident did a number on her bits and bites. Before you begin your mission in earnest, let's go over some basics. Open your iDroid. Unlike us, you humans need food and water to live. Be sure to eat or drink when you become hungry or thirsty. Speaking of which, let's find you something to eat. Open your iDroid's map screen. The map displays terrain you yourself have visited. As we've lost the data the core collected, you'll have to map unexplored terrain yourself. In areas where we can support you, the map will also show your current position. However, 
This does not apply outside of these areas. There, you'll have to study the lay of the land to figure out where you are. The situation report informs you of the current situation. At the moment, you need to secure food and water. Information is added to the report as the situation warrants, so be sure to check it on a regular basis. Now, let's get back to finding food and water. We've detected a place with usable resources. Begin by heading there. We've marked their predicted location on the map. Place a guide marker. You've placed a guide marker. Just like this, you can set your destination to wherever you like. This completes your first mission. When you return to base camp, 
will automatically send to the storehouse any resources you've obtained. Resources stored appear as a report. And don't worry, you can retrieve resources at any I've detected a new memory board. Sync with me to update your iDroid's data. Eating raw meat is dangerous. Doing so will make you sick, so be sure to cook it properly. We just went over some basics, but this was time well spent. After all, this knowledge will be indispensable to surviving this environment. I hope you'll keep it in mind. May the rest of the mission go this well. Now then, on to recovering the data of the Karen Corps. The Corps set up observation posts around DTE, accumulating research data on the memory boards there. We detected a memory board during your exploration earlier. Make your way to its location. Captain. During your exploration earlier, we detected a memory board left behind by the Karen Corps. However, at the same time, we also detect a large number of wanderers in that area. It's highly likely that when you go to retrieve the board, you're going to have to fight for it. You should craft units that will aid you in taking on multiple enemies. When you craft a weapon, you can equip it off the bat, or send it to the storehouse. Also, when you access the storehouse, you can... Alright then, go and retrieve the memory board. I've marked its predicted location on the map. Check it on your iDroid.
come across crystals while you're out exploring. Be sure to gather as many as you can. Your iDroid will tell you how much coupon energy you currently have. <laughs> Thank you. 